All right, here with Maria Fossey after her second round at the Pelican Women's Championship. Take us through your round a little bit. Another good one for you and still atop of the leaderboard as you head into the final day. Yeah, um, good round. Uh, a lot different, of course, than, than yesterday's. Um, a lot more kind of just saving pars and, and making four or five footers. Um, again, to save pars and stuff, just couldn't really get much going. But, you know, I, I still managed to, to get under par and, and be right there for tomorrow. I know there's uh, plenty of birdies out there for me, and I'm just very excited to, you know, go, go out on Sunday and be in contention. How happy are you that you were able to get that round yesterday just to set yourself up for today, even though your round maybe wasn't as revolutionary? Uh, I mean, it's, it, was, it was great uh, for, for many reasons. For just, of course, the, the confidence that, that I know that I can post a, a round like that. Uh, like you said, kind of setting me up uh, for today to kind of know that I, I have some cushion and that I can, um, you know, if, if I would have had a round like I did today, you know, I wouldn't be like necessarily struggling as, as much. Uh, but, but again, I think it, it all goes back to just knowing that those rounds are, are there. Uh, I feel like this is a golf course where, where if, if you hit it on the right places on, on a couple of holes, you can really go deep. Um, so, you know, it's, it's up for everyone to grab uh, tomorrow, but I, I'm excited that, that I've seen a round solo like the one from yesterday. Last time you were in this position in Ohio, you were you were playing in the lead group, and tomorrow you'll be just one out of the lead group. Does that help you at all, knowing you're like in the chase and and maybe have less pressure on you, or would you rather be playing with with them at the top? I think that I have to play good golf tomorrow to you know um, come at the top. It doesn't matter if you're playing in the last group or a few behind. I think if if you post a good round. Uh, that's that's all really I, I can do. Um, I'm I'm just happy that I'm in contention. I'm happy, you know, we're even having this conversation. And tomorrow, it's just go out and, and do what I've been doing this week. It's it's been great, and hopefully, just seeing a few more putts go in. When you're coming off of a career best round like that, what's the balance when you have to go back and do it again so soon of knowing that you're capable of doing that, but also recognizing like if. For example, the birdies aren't falling. Like, what's the the balance between that to not get frustrated when you're not kind of matching that same level less than a day later? I think it's it's a lot about just kind of managing expectations and, and understanding that while a round like that is you know very attainable, um, it also takes a lot of work, a lot of good shots, a lot of good putts made. Um, so it's not like everything was easy yesterday, and you know it just kind of magically happened. Like it was. Uh, a lot of work maybe in a different way than, than today, but um, I think just really going back to, to focusing on, on my process, on, on hitting good shots and um, trying to stay as present as possible. Uh, it's, it's of course easier said than done, but that was kind of my approach uh, into today's round. You mentioned yesterday about how driving has always been a strength of yours, and when you look back at like the stats from the past years, you're always in the top three when you've been on the tour in terms of like average yards per drive or, and all of that. When did that start to become a strength of your game, would you say, kind of looking back at your, your kind of upbringing with, with golf? I think that I, I started to get a little bit uh, on the longer side, maybe when I was 14, uh, maybe even 15, um, but it wasn't necessarily straight. Uh, off the tee, and I feel like the last couple of years, um, it's been long and straight. So it's just a, I have a lot of confidence um, on the tee with my driver. So it's just a very, uh, you know, good asset to have when when I have the distance I have. And uh, I mean, I think I hit every fairway yesterday, and I missed two today. So uh, it's just uh, again, just a lot of confidence on the tee, and knowing that I can go hard, and it's still gonna. Uh, be in the fairway. Was it just a matter of time before it clicked and it went straight or did it take like was there like a final tweak or two that that finally allowed for it to click? A little bit of uh, of everything just working a little bit on my swing getting a little bit stronger and more stable uh, and I think too just getting confident in like I'd rather be you know 285 a little bit in the rough than uh, I don't know 260 and uh, just thinking that I'm I'm having to kind of like load back uh, from from just hitting it, uh, so I think it's just I tee it up and 
pick my target and just swing at it and, and trust that the, the club face is going to meet the ball in the right spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Hey. What's your favorite aspect of this golf course? I said it yesterday. I think the, the greens are the best we play all year. Um, the golf course is, again, also one of my favorites. Playing a lot different this year. I think this is one that usually plays fast and firm. Uh, which, again, it's an advantage for me with uh, the greens being firm. Uh, but this year is a little bit softer, but it's also playing a little bit longer, you know. So I think it's just a course that allows you to kind of hit it off the tee. Uh, and then if, if you give yourself a, a decent look, if you get it started in the right line, you have a lot of chances of it going in because of how pure the greens are. When, when you have a career round like that, do you sleep better? Or do, are you so excited <laughs> that it's hard to sleep? Uh, I've had bad cramps all night, so I didn't sleep all that good. Uh, but it did take me a minute to kind of calm down after the round yesterday. Uh, we met with my team after the round, and I think I might have said five words. I was just kind of trying to soak it in, but also just let the round go and, and kind of leave it on the golf course and not bring it back to, to the house with me. Um, but it was definitely hard to just... Uh, not talk about it, especially, you know, when I'm on the phone with my parents or, or with friends and you kind of have to run through the round again. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy to do that as many times as, as they need to. All right. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you.